Okay, so I've done various unmasking demonstrations with coins, as we know. Um, I wanted to try a chain. Now, this isn't like 100% gold. It's definitely gold-plated. I found it on the Thames with my F19. Um, so, again, doing the test on the ground. I'm going to use this, this nail, and put it on top like that. I'll take a photo of what it looks like. Oh, hello, Eric. How are you? How are you? Okay, so I do the same test again with this annoying nail. Now, anyone that's watched it quite a lot of my videos knows I use this a lot because you've got that brutal edge there. Hi, Eric. How are you? Hmm? Eric likes to test metal detectors as well, don't you? You test all the machines. So let's put this over it. Kind of like that because we got that sort of brutal edge there. I keep on using the word brutal because it is on most machines. Now, Yeah, I mean, you're not missing that. If you're coming along, I'll be um, swinging kind of like this if Eric gets out of the way. You know, you can hear there's all sorts in this ground. So I put this hook on, again it's, uh, it's iron that I got from the Thames. So you're getting, you're getting a double hit on it but that's still enough to get your attention. Like I would, I would dig that. Because that's the whole point, to alert you. And that's quite a tricky test because that's it's a weird shaped piece of iron it's um a very small chain so let me take a picture of that just so you guys can see a close-up now let's remove that. So yeah, you might have been getting a double hit, but it was enough to alert you that there was something there. So I think, you know, that's, that's a pretty good example. Like I said, I don't take any of this stuff as gospel. All it is, is it's demonstrating the potential capabilities of the machine, okay? I use that word, potential. Eric, 